Welcome back, Fox Gang, to another Ace Attorney video. Hope you guys had a good time. Okay, so again, chat has convinced me to dive right back into the content because this is too much fun. This is, we, like, honestly speaking, I have to know, like, honestly, chat didn't really pull my arm on this one. I have to know how this concludes. Obviously, Vasquez is the one who did it. But now it's like, I need to see the conclusion of this trial. I don't think I could wait another day. So I'm diving right back in. Let's go. This, this is too much fun. It really, really is. October 20th, 10 a.m. District Court. Courtroom number four. Oh, hey, it's Edgeworth again. Edgeworth's hair always looks so weird to me. <laughs> Court is now in session for the trial of Mr. Will Powers. The prosecution is ready, Your Honor. The defense is ready, Your Honor. Today will be the final day of this trial. I hope both the prosecution and the defense will be able to present decisive evidence. Very well, Mr. Edgeworth, your opening statement. In yesterday's session, the defense presented us with a new theory for this case. He claims that the scene of the crime was in fact Studio 2. Today, I will call on people present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. From their testimonies, the truth will become clear. Hmm. Very well. Edgeworth seems a bit on edge today. You may call your first witness, Mr. Edgeworth. Sataniku, we're not doing planks during this. The prosecution calls D. Vasquez to the stand. Miss D. Vasquez is the producer who was present in the Studio 2 trailer that day. I'll refund it. But I'm just saying, it's like, eh. I always feel bad when people redeem, like, during these sessions. Will the witness state her name and occupation? D. Vasquez, I'm a producer for Global Studios. On the day of the murder, you were in the trailer in Studio 2. As everyone here knows, yes. I dislike needless banter. If you must pont pontificate, do it when I'm not here. <laughs> Very well, Miss Vasquez. Please give the court your testimony concerning the day of the murder. Nick, I know she did it. Make her pay. R right. If she's guilty, I'll catch her with her... <laughs> I'll catch her with her pants down, so to speak. I'm like, okay. I don't think she's wearing pants. She seems to be wearing a dress of some sort. I enter the trailer. Oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio 1. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. We found Mr. Hammer's body later when we all went to Studio 1. That's all. Hmm. I have a question about one part of your testimony. You were fatigued, so you had Sal take you. The van. Hmm? There's a van at Studio 2. I had him take me in that. I thought it might be risky to walk. What with that monkey's head toppling over? Van added to the court record. Manila used this van to drive Vasquez to Studio 1 after the meeting in the trailer. I... I see. Very well. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. This is the final battle, Nick. Let's do it! Okay, enter the trailer, oh, a little before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to the... so we went to Studio 1. Was fatigued, so had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Hmm. Hold on. You had Sal take you? What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh, oh right. Hmm. Hmm. 
Salen and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Okay, so... And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at 4 and the rehearsal was scheduled for 5. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious, Edgeworth. Hmm. Hold the, hold the, hold these a second. All right, block the path to the crime scene, to the scene of the crime between 2.15 and 4 p.m. Interesting. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Hmm, let's see. All right, so where else can I press here? All right, press here. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk, it irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oh, oops. <laughs> oh my God. Oh my God, that's, oh, I love that. It was 15, it was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this, Sal? N no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. If I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak, well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction in what she said somewhere. Let me go through my evidence real quick. Okay, so... Possible evidence here. This is found in the employee area. Hmm... Into the trailer before a little all right hold on all right press here wait no not not that kind of press hold it by yourself yes and you didn't stop at the employee area no are you always this terse yes no oh dear There was to be rehearsal afterward. Okay, so... Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. C come on, let's talk a bit more about that! The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. The same could be said to you, Mr. Edgeworth. And please stop banging on your little desk. It hurts my ears. <laughs> okay I was fatigued so had Sal take me at 2.30 we took a 15 minute break in the meeting Sal and I ate T-bone steaks in on the table in front of the trailer there's literally nothing I can contradict here Okay, block the path of the scene of the crime between 2.15 p.m. and 4 p.m. Found in the employee area, there are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. Hmm.
All right, let's see. I'm really trying to think about this one because it's like, I don't think I have anything else I can press on. Let me go back to the statements one more time. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. I think she's... Okay, so... I really don't have anything. Enter the trailer before noon. The meeting began at 12 sharp, and it ended at 4. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio 1. It's fatigued, so... Had Sal tank me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Try this one more time. And when exactly was that? I've forgotten. Maybe you could try remembering? No. The meeting ended at four and the rehearsal was scheduled for five. I would think it was between those times. You would think? Come on, all you did was state the obvious. Okay, took a 15 minute break in the meeting. I've pressed on, like, everything. I don't think I have anything else that I could really go at her with. The meeting began at 12 sharp. It ended at 4. Wait. Okay, let me... So question, does it matter what I eat if I'm still on a calorie deficit? I would say, yeah, it still matters what you eat. Like, you obviously don't want to eat stuff that are too high in fats. But, honestly speaking, like, so far, I've been eating a lot of my usual stuff. And, um, as long as I've been following my calorie deficit, I've still been losing. But it's like, obviously, yeah, you still want to eat some, you still want to eat healthy when you're on a calorie deficit. But it's like, you can probably still eat some of the same stuff that you enjoy. Just tone down how much. Like, I can still enjoy, like, some chips on the side of a sandwich. And it's not going to hurt my diet at all. Okay. The meeting began... Alright, um... Press again? Hold it. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. C come on, let's talk a bit more about that. The witness did not come here to engage in idle conversation. Stop interrupting the testimony. Yo, I got nothing to go against her with. There was to be a hurt... There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. It's fatigued, so had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk. It irritates me. Yeah, Mr. Wright. Oops. It was a 15-minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. I would, like... Found in the employee area, on it are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. Hmm. Alright. Do you have someone who can verify this?
kind of wish she'd said a little more. It's hard. Actually, there might be something. All right. Pre Let me see. Um... I'm curious because I'm going to take... All right, I'm going to take a chance. This evidence clearly reveals... How okay, I, I messed up. I did see the Pokemon Presents Ouroboros. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. It was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. At 2.30, we took a 15-minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the... I don't really have anything. This is... This is really tricky. Alright, so... He's dragging one leg... At 2... Alright, this is at 2 p.m. I might need to risk it. I might need to risk it again. Um. This evidence clearly reveal. Okay. Yeah, so I am really. Oh man, I don't think I have anything left on this one. Hold on, you had Sal take you. What does that mean? It means what I just said. I had Sal take me in the studio to Van. Oh, oh right. 2.30 we took a 15 minute meeting. A 15 minute break in the meeting. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in front of the trailer. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd say a little... It's hard. I think she's... Alright, into the trailer. Oh, a little before noon. Let's go back through all this again. By yourself? Yes. And you didn't stop in at the employee area? No. Are you always this terse? Oh, dear. Let me see. Entered the trailer before a little before noon. Hold on. How did she get there is the question. Oh my god, I'm really risking myself here. Like, I was like, okay, this photo, bait, but that, like, where did she get in from, anyway? Like, is my main question. The meeting began at 12 sharp and ended at 4. There was to be a re- And I've pressed everything. Did no one leave during the meeting? No one. Come on. Like, there has to be something and I'm not seeing it there was to be a rehearsal afterwards so we went to studio one was fatigued so had Sal take me guide map all right there's all right, there's the main gate, there's that gate, duh, and duh. Hold it. 
Hold on. You had Sal take you. What does that mean? It means what I said. I had Sal take me in the Studio 2 van. Oh, alright. We took a 15 minute break uh, in the meeting at 2.30. Maybe I should have gathered a bit more evidence? I don't know. I'm, I'm lost on... I'm really lost on this one. And what were you doing during that time? Don't hit your desk, it irritates me. <laughs> I just keep repeating this and it's like, it was 15, it was a 15 minute break. Sal and I ate T-bone steaks on the table in, in front of the trailer. Do you have someone who can verify this? Sal, n no, I mean someone else. One person is enough. If she committed murder during that break, she wouldn't have had time to eat a T-bone steak. I had some evidence that proved she didn't eat that steak. Ooh. Well, Nick, find anything? I kind of wish she'd said a little bit more. On it are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. Nelly used this van to drive Vasquez to Studio One after meeting in the trailer. All right, let me see. Oh, th these are profiles, okay. I don't know if the steak that was laced would work because that was obviously eaten by powers. Huh. It's hard. I think she's pretty used to being the boss. But I'm sure you'll find some kind of contradiction. Uh, it's not worth a shot. I've got like two chances left. Found in the employee area. On it are traces of sleeping pills and a large bone. I guess? Ha! As I thought! You claim you ate a T-bone steak. Wait, really? But I say you did not. W what's this now, Mr. Wright? Look at this. It's a plate. This plate was on the table in the employee area. As you can see, a large bone has been left behind. Mr. Wright, need I remind you it was a T-bone steak? Exactly my point. Remember, if you will, Miss Vasquez and Mr. Manella are at a table outside the trailer. Yo, Satanaku, you were right! I kept looking at the steak and I was like, is that the thing that contradicts? Holy sh... This makes no sense! This, this, this is not a reasonable line of logic! This was a T-bone steak found... Oh, okay, actually, you know what? This makes sense. Yet there were no bones left on the plates. The plates were bent. Miss Vasquez, tell me how can a person eat a T-bone steak and not leave the bone? I think I know how.
You didn't eat any steak during the break! You took your steak and threw it somewhere, like that incinerator! I... I see! Then what was Miss Vasquez doing during her break? Isn't it obvious, Your Honor? She was meeting with the Steel Samurai! I wasted so much life just looking at that steak, thinking, that can't be the evidence, right? That doesn't make any sense. But now that I'm seeing the line of logic here, I feel dumb. I keep... I literally just went through this two videos ago. I keep overthinking things and it ruins everything. Fox needs to stop thinking. That's just all there is to it. Also, did I press the record button? I did. Okay. Order! Are you saying... Yes, Your Honor. As Ms. Vasquez left the trailer to eat her steak, she ran into the Steel Samurai. And then you did it. You killed him with your own hands. M Mr. Wright, isn't that a little presumptuous? What kind of stunt are you trying to pull, Wright? Let him claim what he wants. You say I did it? Yes. Fascinating. And here I was worrying that today would be as boring as all the rest. Very well. Let us have a battle of wits, you and I. Any day, Vasquez. Good luck, Nick. Let's see. What was that murder weapon again? Oh, yes. The samurai spear? Yes. I am, as you can see, a woman of petite stature. How could I possibly use that heavy spear as a weapon. It's not impossible. Well, maybe it's not impossible, but silence, I'm speaking. The victim was stabbed through the chest from the front, yes? I believe this would indicate that the victim was aware of the killer's presence. Now, the Steel Samurai costume is quite light and mobile. Compared to the victim, I am weaker and slower. I couldn't possibly win such a fight, not to mention there is there is proof I did not have the spear. The photograph of the Steel Samurai shows that the victim himself was holding it. Or do you mean to suggest that I could have wrested it away from him? Y yeah take that right! If you still think sh she did it, show us proof. Um, er, hey Nick, look at that data we have on that Samurai Spear in the court record. Isn't there something in there that gets to you? Something odd about the Samurai Spear? Wait! Something the matter, Mr. Wright? S sorry Your Honor, I'd like to take back my previous claim. Very well, I won't hold you to your claim, but I'm afraid I will have to penalize you. Ah! What's this? You're taking back your claim? Let's backtrack for a moment. I want to consider whether the witness could have used the samurai spear or not. However, that has no bearing on this case. Meaning, the samurai spear was not the murder weapon. What? What is the meaning of this? The spear was found lying next to the victim's body. I have proof, Your Honor. I can prove that the samurai spear was not used as the murder weapon. I present my proof, the so-called murder weapon. But, but that is the murder weapon. Not so fast. Remember that this spear broke during the morning action scene run through, but someone fixed the spear. It was the security lady. She fixed it with duct tape. Now tell me, how is it possible for someone to stab a man who was wearing a thick costume with this through the chest? Order, order. Mr. Wright, what are you driving at? Think about what your... Silence. I'm the one testifying here, and I will be heard. You know, I kind of feel bad for Edgeworth. Are you quite sane? Are you even aware of what you're saying? If the samurai spear was not the murder weapon, then pray tell what was. How was Hammer killed? Well, Mr. Wright, can you tell us what weapon was used to kill Mr. Hammer? I can tell you. Would I make a a claim like that if I couldn't tell you what the weapon was. I'm afraid your confidence can sometimes be unfounded, Mr. Wright. Very well, let's see this murder weapon then. Take that! 
look at this photo. What? What is this? Why, that's Jack Hammer standing at the top of the stairs. Order, order! If I cannot have order, this trial will be suspended. Mr. Wright, what is this all about? This photograph is from five years ago. There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. Ah! We're being raided! Everybody, duck and hide! Get the weapons ready! <laughs> Yo, what's up, Star? How's it going? You just showed in just as we're finishing, or hopefully wrapping up the samurai case. Yo, what's up, Fig? Thank you for the follow. Welcome to the Fox Gang. How was stream? There was an unfortunate accident at Global Studios. This is a photo of that very accident. Deploy the nukes. What's up, Clay Man? <laughs> Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. Hey, thank you, Classic Fig, for the tier one sub. I need to create a specific title for every for like my subscribers just so that way they can have fun and have something of their own but what's up thank you for the tier one sub can we get some hypes and some hearts in the chat how was stream did you have a good time with the fago nonsense did you in well i mean i was there during the uh the pokemon stuff so i'm just like eh i kind of i kind of got to agree with bb most of that was bedge <laughs> Get ready to commit massive human rights violations. Oh, God. No offense to uh, Pokemon, but I think the only thing in there that I cared about was, like, the DLC they announced at the end. And I can't even make use of that because I don't have the games. Also, I'm I'm very upset that the Suicune uh, was... is a Violet exclusive... Or, sorry, is a... Scarlet exclusive and I want to play Violet or is it the other way around? I always forget You are angry that no Persona 6 was announced maybe one day Not a word of this was leaked to the outside. It was a close-kept secret at the studios I'm still waiting for them to announce the black and white remakes though <laughs> What does this have to do with the current case? Scarlet is prehistoric, Violet is futuristic. It makes sense. But it's just... Uh, annoying, I guess. Mr. Edgeworth, you still can't see it? See the follow, fallen man in this photo? See how the fence post pierced him through the chest? I mean, it doesn't look like it pierced, but it definitely went in. What? What? Are you saying? Yes. What happened five years ago? Has happened again. Ooh. I kept looking at that fence post too. Like, I kept looking at it. I'm like, that thing's bent. That's got to have something to do with this case. Hey, what's up, Ismanir? How's it going? Mr. Wright, continue. It's 2.30 p.m. on the day of the murder. Miss D. Vasquez meets Jack Hammer outside the Studio 2 trailer. Then she did it. She pushed Mr. Hammer off the stairs onto the fence. Just like Mr. Hammer had himself done five years ago. Though whether she did it on purpose or by accident, I cannot say. In other words, the, the victim, Mr. Hammer, he died in the same way he caused another man to die. Five years ago! Precisely. Ironic, isn't it? Ho ho. Very creative, Mr. Wright. I could use a man like you on my script writing staff. You deny that what I say is true? Mr. Wright, let's say for the sake of argument that Mr. Ha that Hammer died at the trailer as you say. Yet the body was found at Studio One, was it not? And in the evil magistrate's costume, no less. Are you then claiming that I carried the body to Studio One and returned to the trailer all in the space of a 15-minute break? How could I have disposed of the body? The break in the meeting at the trailer lasted 15 minutes from 2.30 to 2.45. Could Jack Hammer have been pushed off the stairs to his death, then carried to Studio One and placed inside his costume? There wasn't enough time. Hmm, indeed. Well, Mr. Wright, how could she have dealt with the body? 
she had another way. What if she had another way to carry the body, and other than with her own hands? For instance? Actually, for that matter, there was no need for her to do the deed in 15 minutes. And there was a way for you to carry that body! I interesting Let's hear it then, Mr. Wright. Please show us how she carried the body. Miss Vasquez, you carried the body to Studio One, and you used the studio van to do it! Recall your testimony. There was to be a rehearsal afterwards, so we went to Studio One. I was fatigued, so I had Sal take me. There was a van there, right? I had Sal drive me. You used the van to carry the body to Studio One. Then before everyone else got there, you put the body into the Magistrate costume. Hold on, right? Don't forget it was Sal Manella that drove the van. Are you suggesting that Mr. Manella was a conspirator? Of course, Sal Manila has to have been a conspirator. The body had to be placed in the van and put into the costume. There's no way Miss Vasquez could have done that alone. Also, don't forget that they had to dispose of the Steel Samurai costume. They had to, because it was covered in Mr. Hammer's blood. They probably burned it in that small incinerator. Well, Miss Vasquez, shall I continue? No need. You're smarter than you look, Mr. Wright. <laughs> I lose, you win. It was fun. I win? I'm lost. <laughs> um, so what happens next? Don't qu question mark me. Don't you have anything to say? What would you like me to say? Huh? I lost? Something like that? I just said that. W wait so you mean D. Vasquez, so it was you. You killed Jack Hammer? I am baffled. Who can say? Huh? Are you sure I did? Mr. Wright, we just engaged in a battle of wits, and the result of that battle... You proved the possibility that I murdered Hammer. R right But that is only a possibility. Proof is another thing altogether. You lacked decisive proof, Mr. Wright. What? 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 Order! Mr. Edgeworth, your thoughts. Um, uh... Wow, she... She... Even Edgeworth is stumped by this woman! Of course, it's as the witness says. Certainly, it does seem very likely she did it, but uh, there's no proof. Edgeworth isn't sure. Well, I came here as a witness today. If you've no more questions, I'll be leaving. Uh, what do I do now? I... I don't know. Like, obviously... I say, t like, I need her to testify again. I, I'd like you to testify again. Testify again? Know when to give up, Mr. Wright. Think about it. Even if I were to testify again, what's the point? I can only say what I said before. The truth, Mr. Wright. I've already said all there is to say. What would happen if I said it again? Ugh, you'd ask the same questions, get the same answers. A waste of time. Damn! Damn! To come so far only to fail. As it seems there are no further questions, I would like to end the cross-examination of the witness, Miss Vasquez. Yes, Mr. Edgeworth? I was hoping to come up with a question while I was objecting, Your Honor. I didn't. 
I see, very well. Your Honor, I request that the witness testify again. You are the prosecutor, are you not? Why are you badgering me? I'm your witness. I, I just want to hear your testimony again. Does this make any sense to you, Your Honor? I don't see that we have anything to gain by repeating the last several minutes. Mr. Edgeworth, I do see little point in making Miss Vasquez repeat herself. What exactly did you want her to testify about? Well, yes, um... Indeed, verily I say, ergo, I want to hear about what happened after they found the body. After they found the body? Very well. The witness will testify to the court concerning this matter. <laughs> Nick, why did Edgeworth... Who knows? He probably realized she did it too. But, but, wasn't he the one that said he always gets a guilty verdict? After all that, Edgeworth... This is so stupid, but alright. I was with Sal and Olbag, the security lady, when we found the body. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. I immediately called the police, then Powers showed up. The security lady, Olbag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers, saying he did it. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. I went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Then, I went home. Hmm, I see no issue raised by this testimony. Mr. Wright, your cross-examination. Okay, Nick, we're close, real close. She may be acting tough now, but if you put her on the spot, she's sure to falter. Find the key you need to twist the truth out of her, Nick. Right. All right, I was with Sal and Olbag, the security lady, when we found the body. All right, press. What time was that? We were to meet at 5 for the rehearsal, so I'd say it was then. When exactly did you and Mr. Manila arrive at the studio? About 10 minutes before. I wasn't stuffing any bodies into costumes, mind you. Hmm. Where were the other employees when you got to the studio? They weren't there yet. Well, then you could have put Hammer in that costume with Salmonella's help. Oh, what did I just say? Did I not just say I wasn't stuffing any bodies into any costumes? You should try to listen to what other people are saying, boy. B boy The witness will continue her testimony. The assistant was there too, only Powers was absent. Mr. Powers was taking a nap, correct? So he says. Did no one go to call him? Remember? Remember what? There was a dead body lying in front of us, yet you expect me to be calm. You certainly seemed calm enough when I accused you of murder. Wait a second, wouldn't that be the other way around? The other way around? You discovered a murdered body and one person was missing, right? Wouldn't you normally go looking for the missing person? Hmm, I ought to agree with the defense on this one. Well, Miss Vasquez? Hmm. Logically speaking, perhaps. But no one there was thinking very logically, I assure you. Also, without his steel samurai costume, Powers doesn't really stand out. We often left him on the bus when shooting at location. No one noticed he was missing. Poor Powers. Hmm, well, I suppose that explains that. Very well, Miss Vasquez, you may continue. Okay, so pressing doesn't seem to affect my lives unless I do something really dumb. What was everyone else doing at that time? No one said a thing. It was silent, completely silent. So we stood there until Powers finally arrived on the scene. Sorry, sorry I'm late. Then, silence, dead silence. Silence. Hey, hey Nick, why is everyone so quiet? Someone should do something to lighten things up. The security lady, old bag, was quite agitated, pointing at Powers saying he did it. Old bag, the security, why did the security lady think Powers had done it? She said because she saw him going towards the studio. Right, the Steel Samurai. Hmm. 
Hmm. Back off. I'll hold back, I think. I'm sure she's already anticipating anything I could throw at her. I do want to be careful. You asked to be left out? Yes, it seems that everyone else was questioned. And I'm really not fond of that sort of thing. But you can't just decide who the police will and won't question. Thankfully, the studio thinks otherwise. They were nice enough to understand that since we were in a meeting, there was no way we could have been involved. Thus, they covered for us. Covered for you, or covered it up for you? There must have been a lot of ri lot writing on it with all those bigwigs at the meetings. I'm sure her professionals helped convince everyone they didn't require her questioning. Went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Hold it. The script and your direction notes? Yes, they're quite valuable. It wouldn't do to have them stolen. No, I guess not. Wait a second. I thought you came to Studio One for a rehearsal. Why didn't you bring your script and notes? Well, I was under the impression that we wouldn't be able to rehearse anything. Why? There was a murder, after all. Who could think of rehearsing after that? Oh yeah, I guess. Hmm. Very well, Ms. Vasquez, please continue. Objection! Your Honor, I have an objection to the witness's last statement. Huh? Think! Miss Vasquez said she didn't bring the script because there wouldn't be a rehearsal. Don't you see what that means? She would have had to know about the murder before going to Studio One. Order! Order! Thank you! Edgeworth! You beautiful bastard! You saw it! I was like... I The second I saw that, I was like, why are we not jumping, jumping on that line of question? But I'm also pissed because he's the prosecution. We are the defense. But thank you, Edgeworth. Yes! Mr. Edgeworth, what you have just said is a reasonable observation. However, I find it hard to understand why the prosecution would make such a move. Or are you thinking of a career change to defense? <laughs> I appreciate the concern, Your Honor. I will stand by my statement, however, regardless of how the court sees my role here. Now, Miss Vasquez, do you have an explanation? I can't believe Edgeworth is helping me. Hmm. So the prosecution is in cahoots with the defense. What kind of court is this? It's Kangaroo Court, baby! <laughs> no matter. I think you misunderstood me. I had perfectly good reason to believe there would be no rehearsal. Mm -hmm. Very well. The witness will change her testimony to reflect this reason. I knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't do any action scenes, so I left them behind. How did you know about the injury? Uh, how did I know? Sal, he told me. Sal, the director. Hmm. You have to find something to peg this on her here, or everything we've done till now will have been wasted. I believe in you, Nick. Go get him. Immediately called the police. Then power showed up. I asked to be left out of the proceedings. Went back to the trailer to get my script and direction notes. Knew that Hammer was injured and couldn't... Hold on. I've got one life left. Objection! 
you knew that hammer was injured? Don't you think that's a little funny? I mean, it was the Steel Samurai who was injured. It was Will Powers. Wh what? Ooh. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was like, Mr. Wright, explain yourself. Yes, Mr. Hammer is dragging his leg in this photo. But that's because he was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Pr pretending? The one person was injured in the run-through that morning. That person was Mr. Powers, not Mr. Hammer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. It was like, hold on. It was Powers that was injured, and I was looking for something to reflect that, and, like, the picture was the only thing that could do it. Now, why did you think it was Mr. Hammer who was injured? I, I already said it was Sal who told me. Th that's right, he must have gotten it wrong. I think not. Mr. Manella was at the run-through that morning. He would have known it was Mr. Powers who was injured. He saw it happen. Why would he tell you the wrong person? Miss Vasquez. Actually, you didn't hear anything from Mr. Manella. You saw Mr. Hammer limping with your own eyes. Yes, but wasn't it Mr. Powers who was injured? Yes, but remember, Mr. Hammer was dragging his leg too. He was pretending to be Mr. Powers. Ah! And when was he doing this? Well, it would have happened. It would have to have been after he put on the Steel Samurai costume and went to Studio 2 where he was murdered. Exactly! Miss Vasquez, you met him, didn't you? You saw, saw the Steel Samurai limping. And Mr. Hammer was in that Steel Samurai suit. That's why you were confused. That's why you thought it was Mr. Hammer who had been injured that morning. Order! Order! I will have order! Witness? Can you refute this claim? <clears throat> yeah, let's see you sneak out of this one, Vasquez! Very well, I have a question for you. Arr Why are the real killers always so persistent? Why in the world would I want Mr. Hammer dead? Yes, he'd fallen on hard times, but he was a star. I had nothing to gain from his death, nothing. Hmm. Yes, you would need a motive. Why would she have killed the victim? If there is a reason, it is unclear to this court. Does the defense have anything to say on the matter? In other words, can you prove she had a motive? Okay, I have proof and I'll show it to you. I present to the court evidence as to Miss Vasquez's motive in this murder. This is my proof. This is the fo this is the photo from before. This photo reveals the motive in this murder. I'm right, aren't I, Miss Vasquez? <laughs> Five years ago, Mr. Hammer was at the height of his fame. With D. Vasquez's help, a terrible accident was swept under the carpet. Ladies and gentlemen, the case currently up for trial. It began on that day five years ago. Ironically enough, that accident, that accident, that accident precipitated Mr. Hammer's fall, his fall from stardom. His guilt weighed him down, no doubt. However, you, D. Vasquez, used Mr. Hammer. You made him work for you for petty change. Hmm. Bringing us to the present day and Mr. Hammer's last role as the evil magistrate. Yes, undoubtedly it was a constant source of shame for the X-Star. Hmm. One moment, Mr. Wright. We are talking about motives here, yet you have only talked about Mr. Hammer. It almost seems as if... As if it was Mr. Hammer who had killed D. Vasquez, not the other way around. What motive would Miss Vasquez have? Y yes that's right. According to what you say, I would have no reason to kill Hammer. He was a good source of income for me, and I'd never get rid of useful men. It's a policy of mine. Mr. Wright, please explain Miss Vasquez's his, his motive for murder. Hmm. She had no motive, Your Honor. What's that now? It was Mr. Hammer who was out for blood. 
All Miss Vasquez did was push him off the stairs in self-defense. What's that now? It's simple. Mr. Hammer was intending to kill Miss Vasquez. What? What? Your Honor? Jack Hammer drugged Mr. Powers with sleeping pills. Jack Hammer snuck into the dressing room and stole the Steel Samurai costume. Jack Hammer wore the costume to fool the security lady into thinking he was Powers. And then Jack Hammer made his way to the trailer. And for what purpose, you ask? To kill D. Vasquez, who had so cruelly taken advantage of him all those years. Yo. So, you did do it, didn't you? Yes. I am guilty. It was me. Someone call an ambulance! Th there's blood everywhere! We're too late! Ah! Miss Vasquez! What? What happened here? Manuel fell from the trailer stairs. Manuel! Manuel! Miss Vasquez, please, try to remain calm. No! No! How could this... It was an accident! Mr. Hammer was doing an action scene and... No! Manual! Manual! D don't touch him, Miss Vasquez! No! Please! Please don't die! Please! Congratulations, Mr. Wright. I lose again. Yo, I have been on the track that Hammer was... That Hammer went there to kill somebody since, like... I don't know. I, I think since, like, early on in the case, I have just been theory crafting that for so long. I never said it out loud because I was like, maybe I'm wrong. But quite honestly, I've been like, I've been like... Why would Hammer take a spear? The only possible reason is he was going to kill someone. And I have been on that track this whole freaking time. And I'm so... Yeah, everything was to frame powers. This is... Oh my gosh. I wish I had said this out loud and then I could say I called it. But no, I kept it in my head because I didn't want to look stupid like I did for the entire game. Why are all of my big brain moments kept silent, but all of my dumb plays are for everyone to see? It's so annoying. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth, where's D. Vasquez? In the waiting lobby, your honor. As calm and collected as ever. I see. Mr. Wright. Yes, your honor. It appears you have brought about yet another miracle. I thank you, your honor. I think not, your honor. Will Powers was innocent. That he should be found so is only natural, not a miracle. Yes, yeah, yes, yes, you're right. Very well, this court finds the defendant, Mr. Will Powers, not guilty. Yes! We're an awesome lawyer. No, we're not. That is all. This court is adjourned. October 20th, 1.12 p.m., District Court. Defendant lobby number three. Yeah, GG for real this time. <laughs> I I don't know what to say. Thank you so much. I'm just glad you're okay. Yes, but it's sad. I know that Mr. Hammer stole my costume. It's bad enough that he wanted to kill Miss Vasquez. But to think that he tried to frame me for the murder. It makes me sad. Like if Edward hadn't been there to stop it, we would have lost the case. Tell me why, Mr. Wright. H huh? Tell me. Why did Mr. Hammer want to blame me? Um. Hell if I know. Like, why would he- why would he want to frame him, I guess? Mm. Well, 
this is what I think. Mr. Hammer wanted to put the blame on you because... It's because you were the Steel Samurai. Because I was the Steel Samurai? Mr. Hammer was a big star once, but he was reduced to acting in a kid's show and as the villain to boot. The kids loved the Steel Samurai, and so he hated you. I... I think I understand. He, he could have just told me. I would have changed places with him any time. I think you're missing the point. Uh, thank you. I'm just glad it's all over. So am I. So am I. Congratulations, WP! Oh? Oh! <laughs> Thanks to you, I'll be able to don the Steel Samurai outfit once more! I can't wait to get back into that sweaty costume and... Hmm? Is... is something wrong? N no uh, uh, of course not! Ah! Uh... nick Edgeworth! Say something, right? I'm not good at small talk. Huh? What? Um, that was too bad, Edgeworth. You don't waste any time gloating, do you? No, I really want to thank you. Vasquez would have gotten away if you hadn't stepped in. Ah, uh, pleased to meet you. I'm Powers. Uh, er, Edgeworth. I'm a big fan of your work, Mr. Powers. Liar. <laughs> right. I must say I hadn't expected to meet you again after all these years. Meet again? However... In retrospect, it would have been better had we not met. Thanks to you, I'm saddled with unnecessary feelings. Unnecessary feelings? Yes, unease and uncertainty. Aren't those kind of necessary? They only serve to get in my way. You listen to me, Phoenix Wright. Don't ever show your face in front of me again. That's what I came here to tell you. We'll see him in the next case. <laughs> Um, Mr. Wright, was that guy your friend? What? Friends? As if? They're rivals. Rivals. Right, Nick? For now we are, I guess. Huh? Why do I get the feeling I'm missing something? Come on, Nick. Tell me. What's the deal with you and Edgeworth? And so the curtain closed on another trial. I caused quite a stir by revealing that accident from five years ago. It was the talk of the town. Thankfully, Global Studios rethought its programming change. They went back to making kids shows again. Nick! This is it! The new show starts today! You're going to watch it with me, right? I'll admit, I was kind of surprised. I didn't think they'd seriously go through with it. We have to buy trading cards too, okay? We have to trade with Cody and that assistant. Oh my god. Fine, fine, I'll do it. Isn't it great that WP gets to play the lead again? I wonder if they'll show his real face this time. I don't know. I don't think the world is ready for the real Will Powers. Powers is in that suit. I wanna build a life worth living. I wanna be rich cause I wanna be given. I feel the time keeps ticking. I wish I had more but I'll take what's given. I just wanna pop cause I've been working a lot. I think I deserve a shot. I think I deserve a spot. Cause it's been years on this path that I walk And if I keep going, I pray I'll be at the top When I dream big, yeah, I commit Wanted this life since I was a little kid Never thought twice, I just did what I did Worked towards it and now I have an addiction